What's up tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I hope you like this video. This is going to be your review. The Real Housewives of Miami Season 6, Episode 6. I know it's late, but baby, we are here, okay? So, we are still at the benefit for, um, you know, the Cancer Sucks um, benefit. And Julia sings for Martina. Listen, I thought it was great. I thought it was a beautiful moment. Martina enjoyed it. Julia was nervous as hell. And she, you know, didn't sound the greatest. But it was the thought. It was the effort behind it. And it was beautiful. Um, and it was definitely much appreciated. Um, Lisa ends up showing up. And, of course, Lisa tells the ladies all about what happened. Her version of the story is that she was in her bathroom getting dressed. Lenny came in there and with his mom and they got into it and that she felt some kind of way that Lenny would just bust into the, 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 the bedroom while she was getting dressed or bathroom or whatever. And that she felt like it was just out of place and it was just rude or whatever. So we find out that Lenny actually called the police and there was no probable cause to arrest either one of them, but the article made it seem like she had assaulted Lenny and put her hands on Lenny first. Listen, they told her, girl, you got to get out that house. See, here's the thing, Lisa. On one end, I 100% feel like Lenny is being a total asshole about this situation, and he's really making this a lot more difficult than it has to be, and he does not want you to have anything, and he wants to enforce the prenup. All of the above. I get it. And I get your anger, Lisa. I get that you feel like you're entitled to more because when you signed that prenup, y'all didn't have no kids and y'all hadn't built the different businesses and you all of the things that y'all have done, like, I get it. But the flip side is sometimes you just got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to run. Because in this situation, I, I just couldn't live like this. I couldn't live like this. And I get it. You don't want to give up that nice, beautiful, big house on Star Island. I get all of that. But, baby, sometimes you got to take a step backwards to take two steps forward. That's just the truth, Ruth. I'm just telling you what I heard, what I know, and not what I heard. Okay? Moving on. So then, um, the late, you know, so then uh, Gertie comes over. And we have um, Lisa, Gertie. Um, what's her name? Larsa. Um, I'm not sure who else was there. I guess all the ladies were there, whatever. Everybody except for Julia. Because Julia was talking to Martina and, you know, she was all happy, blah, blah, blah. So they're talking about the whole thing about La Larsa telling Gertie's business. First, Larsa gonna lie and be like, you didn't tell me not to tell anybody. So, of course, you know, production rolled that beautiful bean footage that showed that she asked Larsa not to say anything. She said, Larsa, you even made a joke about telling TMZ. Like, I absolutely told you not to tell anybody. So then Larsa was like, Lisa is trying to defend Larsa and basically be like, but she didn't do it out of malice. She didn't do it out of, you know, in a, from a negative place. She wasn't coming from a negative space. Gertie was like, I don't give a damn what her intention was. She said, well, what is this about? A, 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 Nicole was like, well, what is this about a, um, um, a test? And Gertie was like, listen, what I meant by a test is I was, I told her, because I felt like, okay, we're trying to rebuild our friendship. We're trying to get back into a good space. And if I could, if I tell her this and she can keep it to herself and respect how I feel, then I'll know that this is that we're on the right path and we're moving towards this friendship that I'm that I'm trying to build with her. But the flip side is, if she doesn't, number one, I'll know that she's exactly who I think she is, and number two, I'll know that this friendship can't it just can't work. And she did exactly what I thought she was going to do, even though I gave her an opportunity to do something different. Um, then Larsa is going to, listen, then Larsa going to say, well, you were going to tell people anyway, right? Like, weren't you going to tell people? So what's the big deal? See, that is where I'm going to disengage. And that's what Gertie did. Gertie got up and Gertie left. And Gertie was pissed, as she should have been. Larsa, why can't you just say I'm sorry? I, I Like, girl, just say... I'm sorry. I did it out of I did it out of concern, but I'm sorry. You're absolutely correct. I did not respect your wishes. You didn't want me to say anything, and I told 20 people. Do I think that her intention was coming from a good place? Shit, it's Larsa. I don't know. But at the end of the day, just say I'm sorry. You know, I don't understand why people can't just say. I'm sorry. So anyway, Lisa goes house shopping.
it was a beautiful place. Like, it really was a beautiful place. I cannot imagine living somewhere where my condo fees have a comma in them per month. Like, I think her condo fees were like $4,000 a month. That's on top of what she paying to buy the place. It was in the millions. Now, is it a great, be is it beautiful? Yeah. But baby, when, when Larsa and her realtor told her, you might want to look for somewhere cheaper. I mean, when your friends are telling you to take a reality check, you might want to. But to Lisa's credit, she said, yeah, I do think I need to find something a little cheaper. So then they get to talking about, because Adriana is there. So then they get to talking about the whole Gertie thing again. And once again, Larsa is trying to make it seem like she didn't do anything wrong. And she was like, but I don't understand what the problem is. I mean, she was going to tell anyway. She was going to tell people anyway. I was just, you know, trying to, I don't know how she was saying it. Baby, Adriana was like, girl, at the end of the day, she asked you not to say nothing. And you said something. You're wrong, period. And again, it's real easy to just say, I'm sorry. Lisa invites the ladies down to, um, is it Palm Beach? Palm, I was, it, Palm Beach is in California. Anyway, they moving down there where the Golden Girls live. Palm Springs. One is, okay, Palm Beach, I think, might be Florida. Palm Springs is California. Okay, all right, okay, okay. That's where the Golden Girls had lived, right? I know they was in Miami, but I feel like they lived in Palm Beach. No, they was in Miami. They was in Miami. Okay, D don't get me in the comments, y'all. I'm getting myself together. Neither here nor there. She invited the ladies down for the weekend. She said she's doing some work there. She's starting her own jewelry line um, or perfume line or some shit. And she invited the ladies to come down for the weekend. She's got a house and it's going to be great. And, you know, of course, all the ladies are like, yes, let's go. Nicole, Julia, and um, Alexia, Alex, Alexa, Alexia, they go to the Sunflower Farm to go hang out, to talk. Um, Nicole brings her son, and he's running around, and it's really cute. And so they're going to cut their own flowers, you know, going to the Sunflower Field. I thought that was cute. Is that something I would probably want to do with my girlfriends? I don't know. A couple, like last year, me and my girlfriends did a girl's trip, and we were near a lavender um, farm. And when we were booking the trip and we saw the um, attractions, we was like, oh, that would be really cute for us to go down to the lavender place and buy all the stuff that's made with lavender. Lavender's supposed to relax you. They had lavender. You know, I'm sure they had everything you could imagine with lavender in it. Baby, we got in that house. We got to cocktailing and cooking and eating and cocktailing some more. Baby, we didn't see no pots in no lavender field. But it's a good idea. It's a good idea. So while we're there, Alexia and Julia realize we really do like each other. And we got off to a bad start last year. And you know what? When we go down to Palm Springs, let's roam together. And Julia was like, well, girl, what about Mar Marisol? Like, that's your ride or die. Like, ain't that your house, buddy? And she was like, well, what about Adriana? Julia was like, I can, I don't care. Like, I don't have a problem with, you know, roaming with you. Marisol was like, well, I have to ask. Um, she, I mean, Ju uh, damn it. Alexia was like, oh, well, I have to ask Marisol and... Um, and Todd. So at first, I didn't think nothing of it until we got to the end of this episode. I'll I'll explain later when we get to the end. But at first, I didn't think it was a big deal. I was like, you know, it was a joke. Like, ha ha ha. I gotta ask my husband. I gotta ask my best friend. Okay, ha ha ha. Well, I'm gonna just go ahead and say it now because my ass is gonna probably forget. But later on in the episode, she said it again. She actually ended up changing it and deciding that she didn't. She was going to room with Marisol. After all, and she said, joked again about having to ask Todd. So Julia felt some kind of way because she was like, so do you have to ask Todd because I'm a lesbian? Like, does that make you feel uncomfortable because I'm a lesbian? Like, do you think I'm going to come on to you? Do you think I'm going to try to make a pass at you? She was like, girl, I'm married. And, and I like you, but I ain't attracted to you. Like, girl... So I didn't think about it like that at first, but once she brought it up, I was like, wow, now I can kind of see how she felt. And I was like, that's kind of messed up. So I don't know if this is going to become a big issue or not. It's a reality show. Of course, it's going to become a big issue. Um, 
<laughs> of course it is, right? So Gertie, Kiki, and Marisol, they go out to lunch and Marisol lets them know that she missed the opera night because she had to have a procedure done. Now again, I still think she ain't go because it was at Adriana's house and she just ain't want that smoke. Um, but okay, girl, you had a procedure that you couldn't make it. You couldn't come. Gertie lets the ladies know that she is not happy with Larsa and that Larsa owes her an apology. And until Larsa gets an apology, you know, I mean, until she gets an apology from Larsa, she, she ain't good. You know, she just, she said, I'm gonna go on this trip, but until I get an apology, mm mm-mm. No, we got, we got B. Alexia and Julia go out shopping for things for the trip. Again, they're bonding. And that's where uh, Alexia brought up again that she has to ask Todd about being a roommate with Julia. Um, But then she's asking Julia questions like, are your boobs real and this, this, and this? So I don't know. It was just a weird, like, I didn't think about the whole Oh, you have to ask your husband if you can room with me because I'm gay. But again, I'm sure when you are gay, those are the things that are a red alert for you that may not be a red alert for us. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, again, I'm sure that we're going to revisit it. I hope we don't drag it out and I hope it doesn't turn into like a faux episode arc. But it's, again, a reality show. Now, the ladies are finally heading on down to Palm. I'm going to say Palm. It's one of them Palms. Um, listen, I can say what I want to say about these housewives, okay? These house hugs, okay? But, baby, this is how I want to be living. They was riding down to the Palm Place, and all of them was riding in Rolls Royces, okay? Dr. Nicole, who is my friend in my head, I keep telling y'all that. Dr. Nicole, call me, girl. I'm going to be in Miami in a couple of months, okay? Can I... Can we just go go out on the boat? You know what I'm saying? I bring a charcuterie board, charcuterie, whatever the shit is called. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> but anyway, she had the Rolls Royce truck. Okay. And then Lisa was driving her Rolls Royce. Okay. And Alexia was driving her Rolls Royce. Okay. And all the ladies were in the different Rolls Royces. Now... Of course, all of them were having different conversations in the, the cars that they were in. What I thought was funny was they were, t- in Marisol, it was Marisol, Alexia, and I think Julia was in the car. And that's when Marisol told her, we're not going to be roommates. I'm a roommate with, I mean, that's when Alexia told her, we gonna, I'm a roommate with uh, Marisol. And Julia was like, okay, girl, like, all right then. But what was, no, no, it wasn't. Lisa was in the car with Marisol. It was Lisa... Marisol and who else was in the car with her? Was it Adriana? Hold on, let me get these cars together. Um, but what was funny was they were telling Lisa the whole way down there how Lisa needed to stop, you know, focusing on Lenny so much and she needed to talk. She said, they were like, you're going to run Jody away. You know, Palm Beach. They were going to Palm Beach. You're going to, uh, it was, okay, it was Dr. Nicole, Adriana, and Kiki in one car. Um, like I said, Lisa, Marisol, I don't know who was in the car with them. And then in the third car, it was, it was Alexia. No, it was, yes, it was Alexia, Larsa, and Julia. And then Lisa, Marisol, and I guess, um, Gertie. Yeah. Okay. Baby, the whole way down there, Marisol and and, and 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 Julia were trying to tell her, girl, you need to stop focusing so much on, um, you need to stop focusing so much on Lenny and stop talking about Lenny. You're going to run Jody away. He's a good guy. But no matter, you know, no matter how good somebody is, eventually they're going to get tired of hearing about your ex-husband or not so much ex-husband. Baby, Lisa got mad. Lisa got mad to myself. Y'all don't understand. It's my relationship. Y'all don't understand. Jody's a good guy. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. Baby, your friends are giving you some good advice. Then they're going to ask, so is this Lenny's car? She said, no, it's my car. Well, it's in Lenny's name, but it's my car. Girl, it's his car. If it's in his name, it's his car. What the fuck are you talking about? It's my car, but it's in his name. Didn't you just tell us last week that he was petitioning the court to take the car from you? So it's not your car. Girl, 
Lisa, I'm going to need you to let the shit go. Anyway, moving on. They rode down there. Um, I mean, of course, everybody was having a good time in there. Um, and the, the, the car that Adriana was in, they were listening to her music and dancing and singing along and all that good stuff. The ladies were having a good time going down there. I think that was the most controversial conversation was when they were trying to get Lisa together, okay? So then... We get to the house, which is, of course, gorgeous. Um, beautiful home. But they tell everybody, okay, you know, uh, Larsa and Lisa are sharing the master, well, the prime, and everybody else go find a room, right? Julia don't go running for a room because Julia was like, listen, I mean, I know I'm rooming with Adriana. Adriana just took off. Whatever room she get is whatever room we have, and it is what it is. The rest of the ladies go running looking for a room. Uh, whatever, whatever, child. It's a whole elevator in that house. One of them was like, I ain't running up and down these steps. I'm taking the elevator. But Adriana and Julia ended up with, I think, the worst room. But in a house like that, I mean, the worst room is probably still better than most of our master or prime suites. But that's when Julia had the conversation with um, Adriana about the whole thing with Alexia and asking Todd for permission. So, again, we know that Julia's upset about it. And you done told the wrong damn person. You done told Adriana. So, you know, at some point, Adriana is going to throw it out there and use it as a weapon. I don't know, but we'll find out. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.